Hello there. Whoa. Whoa. Think the Aurora Borealis is happening inside your room, Ethan. I know it's crazy, isn't it? Whoa, what is that? Is that a new fixture? I, I wonder if I can show you this. I got it. Someone got it me for Christmas. I think it was my mom. Holy crap. Cheers. 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 It it Whoa. looks really, really green on the camera, but it's just like a normal, very soft yellow. Cool. It could also look like it says cheese. Because you love does. cheese, right? Yeah, it kind of does. It's embarrassing, really. Why is it? I don't like cheese. Do you not? Not even Wensleydale. Hi, Ethan. Hi, Ryan. I forgot you had a haircut. Yeah, I've had a haircut. You look styled. You know what? I was thinking that. <laughs> I kind of look... No, I think it's just greasy and makes it. It kind of looks back. good if you like. If you intentionally like waxed it that way, that would look quite good. I kind of like Obi Wan in Attack of the Clones, <laughs> <laughs> which is a pretty cool look. Yeah, you know what? I don't think I added a new film on this wheel because. Yeah, we had a film that you wanted to add last time. What was it? Don't know. No. Oh. I was thinking. I, I kind of want to watch some like, you know, like some funny, like kung fu films. Do you know what I mean by that? Right. Do you know what I mean by that? How like the kung fu films are really funny. Not really. I can't say okay. I'm in the habit of watching any kung fu. Okay. Films. You know what? I'll put one on kung fu hustle. Would hustle. you watch? Would you watch that? It's like a comedy. Uh, yeah, maybe. Well, well, that's on it. Did we watch? Um, didn't we watch one? It was like Shaolin soccer. Did we watch that? But we kind of just let me just that that rings a bell, even though it shouldn't. Shaolin it was, soccer. It was ages ago, but we kind of just got bored, I think, and we skipped bits. Oh, that does look familiar. Do you remember that? We watched, we tried watching it or something, but we just thought it was garbage. Yeah, I mean, it looks it. Uh, well, Kung Fu Hustle's on there. Okay. Anyway, um, so this is our little thing we do where we pick a movie, then we review it, and only the wheel, yeah. only the wheel decides. The, yeah, the... exactly. We have no say in, well, we have say in what goes on the wheel. We have no say in the order of the wheel. It decides our fate. Are there any ones that you want me to add on there right now? I did think of one earlier. Um, thingy, Raggedy, is it Raggedy Ann? Okay. I mean, I, I don't know if that's on Amazon Prime, but it's on YouTube, but we could still try oh, okay. and do that. Do you want to add that to it? Is, is that the one that... You... Raggedy Ann, it's like a weird one that you keep bringing up. Okay, it's yeah. like an acid trip thing. Yeah. Um. Actually, you know what? Let me look at this. Um. Any others you want me to add? Mm. I'll, th I'll 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 kind of think of some uh as we're watching whatever we watch. Okay, Maybe. I've just I've just thought of a new one. Which one? Balls out, Gary the tennis coach. What the fuck is that? Go look it up. <laughs> right, right, now we said we wanted to watch good film. Well, it might be a good one, but it'll be you know Ball we'll have a mixed out. bag. Wait, have you brought this up before? Because this sounds familiar. Yeah, it's got Stifler in it, so it'll be good. Oh, it's got Stifler in it. Okay, I see. Should I? Is that okay to be on the list? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That looks funny enough. Yeah, um I mean we can still add some well not even not even that I think it'll be bad, it's that I'll think it'll be funny. So Yeah. Anything that we think will be interesting or fun to watch. Anyway, yeah. I've got some little I thought there's a little we could do like a mini little talk bit before we get yeah. started. Do you want to? Yeah. 
because I've got a couple. Of, I've got one anecdotes, two food taste test right now. Oh, I forgot about that. Which one should I do first? Anecdote. Yeah, anecdotes. Because if food taste tests are disgusting, you might struggle to talk. Yeah. Right. So I went out to eat like just a while ago. Oh yeah. Question: low... Was this for your birthday? Not really. My uncle just wanted to eat out. Okay. Um, but it was just a local place, and um, one there was a really um hot waitress. I knew you were gonna say. That. I was See, like this. Really. I was like this. <sighs> Did you embarrass yourself? You mess it up. No, but that's good. So, like, I don't usually get that nervous around women in in general but now and then one that will come along that's really hot <laughs> and i'm like this ay, 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 ay. <laughs> that's funny and that was like that and i was i was enjoying myself yeah 12 o'clock. right yeah i was um but right get this you know how we saw heisenberg at don alberto's yeah today i saw mike herman trout <laughs> It was crazy. <laughs> um, so I think that's it. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, right, let's get into this, should we? Good stuff. There's kind of another anecdote that I could tell you about, but it's so not even worth saying, but I'll say it now. Yeah, go on. I was at Subway yesterday. I went to Subway yesterday. Swoops. I've just been, yeah, I've just been going all sorts of places. But, you know, I went to Warrington, right? And when was the last time you went to Warrington? Um, first year of college when I met Jack. So. Really? Cause yeah, so like three years ago. It's like a good little place. Like, yeah, it's good. There's all sorts of little weird shops, and you can get like good snacks then, which I've got some weird snacks. So, oh, is that where you got them? Yeah, yeah. So that's cool. But um, I got Subway, and what it, it, at Subway they used to always give you a plastic bag, right? And I guess at this place they just didn't do it. Like, hmm. I had to like ask for a paper bag or something. Like they weren't just like giving giving it me in a plastic bag but this is what yeah. happened i'm getting my subway my, i'm getting all the stuff on it and i get to the checkout and there's another particularly cute girl at the thingy as well um and um so she does my thing she was like anything else and i'm like no thanks so she, she takes my money ch- 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 and gives me the change and then she just like starts like my she just leaves my sani on the counter and she just turns around and starts dealing with someone else's drink like some random drink and i just stood there because i was waiting for a paper a plastic bag (laughs) i didn't think that this transaction had ended but i guess to her the transaction had ended so i just stood there like as she was doing this other thing for this next customer I just stood there. Oh, that's funny. And then, like, she turns back around and she's, like, just looking at me, like, why is he still here? <laughs> and then I just looked at him and went, can I have a bag? <laughs> and then she, she gave me, like, a paper bag thing. Oh, that's funny. So that was quite funny. Anyway, that's it. Um, <laughs> right. Let's... I'm scared about this. Yeah. Check this out. What you got? Choco boy. <laughs> you ever seen this? No. What is he meant to be? I think he, he looks like a mushroom. Yeah. So he looks... it's Choco mushroom. It says Orion on it. Does I don't it even know. Indication is where it's from because it doesn't look English. No, it. it I reckon it's like. French or German or something. Yeah, I was thinking German. What's D E in like language? German. It's German then. I'm expecting it to stink when I open it. I think 
I think this has a potential to be nice if they're not like gummy. If they're actually yeah. chocolatey, this could be quite nice. I have absolutely no idea. What if this kills me right here? <laughs> what if it turns out there's like a live creature in here? It's a parasite, it's fungus. What if fungus is a man? Because I got it from this weird little Japanese shop. Do you know what shop that is? No. There's a weird little. Uh, they sell like Japanese stuff and like with all sorts. And this was from there, and I wonder if this is like a gremlin victory. Yeah, that's what I thought. Can't open the packet in broad. Okay, daylight. it's chocolate. Okay, that's good. Can't go wrong with chocolate, surely. It smells like Kinder. It reminds you of Kinder Egg. I think Kinder is German as well. That makes sense. They look like little mushrooms. They are mushrooms, aren't they? Am I going to get... This makes me feel like I'm going to get high. I think that is Kinder chocolate. Because Kinder is German. You know what this looks like? You know what all this is? Right, this... The stem is like a bready thing, right? And it's basically like a bit of Nutella on a bit of bread in it. Yeah, they're like those dippy things. Chuck dips. It's decent. Yeah. You try just like the chocolate on its own. See yeah. It, see what it tastes like. It's very similar to like Nutella type thing. There you go. What a success. <laughs> I mean, can you tell the reason I got it? What? Because it just looks weird. <laughs> Choco boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a boy. He's not. He doesn't look like one. Should I do the other eats, or should I do a drink? Uh, do do drink, do drink. Look at this. This is pretty cool. Oh, what is it? Do you know what this is? Oh, I have a feeling I've seen this brand before. They do a lot of different ones. It's from Sailor Moon. This look, yeah. it says, it says it there. Wait. Is this exclusively a Sailor Moon brand? No idea. It says Ocean Bomb mango flavor. Oh. But I just liked it. I like the design. Look, it's got all this like ornate looking things. and Yeah. Made me want to watch Sailor Moon, and I did actually watch an episode earlier. Mm. Um, Let's open this. I don't actually know what it's going to be. It's mango flavor. That might be what it'll be. Look, it has that Toey animation little cat, you know that? Oh, yeah, I've seen that before. What if, like, this is like it's like watching an anime when I drink it? <laughs> you eat every sip as an episode, yeah. This might be garbage, it might be, but you know, what nice for the try. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. Is that good? It's good. Do you ever do you know what I mean by describing it as slightly perfumey? In a nice what, way. Like soft. Can't describe it. It's free it's good. It tastes I'll tell you this, the taste feels more authentic, like as opposed to artificial. Like, really sugary and artificial, yeah. Yeah. But you know what? I'm going to have to keep that can. I have a feeling, right, There's, it's either that or a really similar-looking brand. Because they do, like, a bunch of different characters on. Yeah. Right? And they're always sold in Japanese stores. Yeah, it might be I, that. I think because... I tried... There's one with a Squirtle, like the Pokemon on it. Oh, really? And I think that was, like, Pear or something, and it was quite nice. Yeah, they had loads. They had Dragon Ball ones and yeah. Okay, it might be the same brand then. Yeah, and um, Ooh. well, actually, maybe the. I don't know if the um Dragon Ball ones were the same brand as oh, that. Okay. But whatever. Um, basically, in Japan, it seems like they have like, here's. Um. A checkbook and pen with a picture of like Mike Wazowski on it. 
and buy it because it's got Mike Dubowski on it. Yeah. Right. Peanut butter M and M's. You know I'm an M M&M and M fan. An M and M and M. Yeah. I love the. I assume music. you like peanut butter. To be honest. I'm crazy about peanut butter. There you go. You'll love this. Look at him. Have you seen his hair? I saw his it? hairstyle. He looks like fucking Thingy Owens. What's it called? Wilson. Owen Wilson. Do you think so? Yeah, he's got the Owen Wilson look. He looks like Han Solo. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I'll probably eat all these right now. Fair enough. Well, we're watching our movie. Yeah. Huh. Are they always this big? I think the, the ones are. with stuff inside it always are. They're a bit of a different... Sh- I've forgotten what M&M's look like now. I'm thinking about it too much. Mmm. 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 Mm. They're good noises. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Usually, mm. you know how usually M and M's have a bit of a crunch, right? Yeah. This is bite. Make your teeth. They break through the initial shell, and you land in a cushion of. Peanut butter. Yeah. It's kind of a new world. Have you ever tried the salted caramel ones? A whole new world. Uh, no. Oh, that's a fun Yeah, one. I might have. I think the salted caramel ones are really good and they look similar to those. Yeah, there was... I guess... um, There was a lot of shops that had, like... I suppose they're imported American sweets as well. Because I guess America get loads more different kinds because yeah, they had cookie it. and cream and they had something else cookie oh. dough or something or yeah something else oh no it was called cookie and scream and he was like halloween. Was a halloween one so there you go anyway is there anything you want to talk about before we spin uh kind of food related story uh we, me and evie went out last night and we went to uh, a place nearby that we just call the Gin Palace. Um, really? Yeah, it's it's quite nice. And gin is in drinking gin. Yeah, drinking gin. Not so as in know. like the demonic spirit thing. <laughs> no, not that you one. Start calling it that. As the in that gin, the Gin Palace. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we went for food, and then we decided we wanted some drinks. We went there, and first off, let me say. The first guy you served me, if you're seeing this, fuck you, right? He seemed completely done with, like, just being there. And it, it, it was really weird because they have, like, a whiskey, a gin, and a rum of the month, and it's, like, at a reduced price. And yeah, I got my initial drink, and then I saw that they were, they were doing that, and I was like, oh, what's the rum of the month? And I, before I'd even gotten my full sentence out, he just went, he, like, tapped the sign, and he just went, sold out, sold out. <laughs> uh, you can see it's, uh, it's scribbled out here. And I was like, and on the sign, it wasn't scribbled out. It was scribbled out on the sign next to it, but not on that Wait. one. Wait, so is that just because he couldn't be bothered, or was he... No, I think it was actually meant to be scribbled out. All right. But it just wasn't on that one, so I thought it was in stock. Um, yeah. And then I asked him what the other ones were, the, the the gin and the whiskey, and he seemed really like, oh, I've got to, oh, I've got to know this. Oh, yeah. be, and it literally says like, ask, ask our servers about the options. It's like, <laughs> just, I'm, I'm just doing what it says. Um, yeah. And then. So I got my drink, that was nice. And then I, I went back and I intentionally avoided that guy. I got a different guy. And I asked for the gin of the month, which was spiced orange boe. And I was like, just put it with whatever you'd recommend. And he was like, oh, you, you don't get a choice because it's at a reduced rate. It's a double with lemonade and an orange slice. And I was like, okay, fire away. And it's four pounds. What a bargain. And 
it was amazing. I loved it. Spice Orange. Whoa, Bowie sounds good. Did. Sounds good. Um, so this then, place, sorry. And then the next time, I didn't get either of those two guys. The, the guy who served me second was just kind of friendly, like base level friendly. And then the guy who served me last was like well enthusiastic. Really? <laughs> and he was like, oh, how's your night? How's it going? Where have you been? <laughs> and I was, I was like telling him all about it. And then he was like, oh, I'm on till close me. And then I, I was like, oh. Oh no, I said, what time are you on till? And he went, oh, I'm on till close, so I can't send my cell phone back and send other people's <laughs> other people home to a treasure I cannot possess. <laughs> and I just, he was just like so enthusiastic to just talk to me. It was yeah. amazing. Sounds pretty cool, that. Go on, what were you going to ask? So, so you're at the Jinn Palace, right? Yeah. Did you have an audience with like the Jinn King and Queen? Uh, they weren't there that night. You should have I'm told not... the Jin King about this Jin asshole guy servant. The Jin Jester. Yeah, the Jin Jester who wouldn't, who was rude. <laughs> yeah. Uh... And he would have sent him to the Jin dungeon. You can just think, you can just imagine all sorts for that. Exactly. The Jin Kingdom. The Jin Dom. <laughs> The j- the jing um... so I kind of I kind of want to buy some of that um gin just because it was so good. Yeah, I um, get it, but I want to buy some. Qui Gon Jin. Three Star Wars references already. <laughs> yeah, we're not watching a film. We're watching. We're <laughs> just saying Star Wars names. Do you want to start the wheel? Yeah, let's let's fire it up. Um, Wait, I'm okay. really no. What? There, I don't think, as far as I'm aware, on my list that I gave you, there are any films from my poster. Oh yeah, no, there's there's Fight Club. I know, but I didn't pick. All oh, right, from right, right, my right. list, I don't think there is any. Yeah, yeah, right? no, there's not. So. I want you to pick two numbers between one and ten. Seven and nine. Seven and nine. Okay. Mm-hmm. Add to the the wheel American History X that was on the seventh row in the ninth column of my. Mm-hmm my poster so there we go is that it yep all right cool i've heard it's a good film i think i've seen it before i think it's really good all i know is that there's a horrible scene oh yes yeah there is right at the start but you know i saw the same thing happen in the sopranos and i liked it (laughs) so maybe i'll like it yeah, because he was a bad guy who got it done. So oh, I was like, yeah. This guy's just a. I think he's a, a robber, maybe. Or he's trying to steal huh. a car. Well, that might be good then. Yeah, you might like it. Right. Should we spin? I'm scared. Yeah. Do you have any predictions? What do you think we're going to get? I kind of hope it'll be one of yours because last time it was one of mine, right? Mm. I have a funny feeling. I think we're going to get Lynch's Dune. You think so? Yeah, that's my prediction. The the wheel decides our fate, Ethan. Yep. Let's just stop stalling. Let's get into it. Yeah, praise be it. Oh. Raggedy Ann. One of the new ones. All right. So I think... Well, well let, me, let me check if it's on Amazon. Otherwise, we'll just... We'll just watch it on YouTube and just like sync it up like three, yeah, two, okay. one. Right, all right. Um I'll stop this um recording. Okay. We're watching Raggedy Ann. Raggedy Ann. And Andrew. And Andrew Check it out. Is that his name? It's been a while since I I wonder I wonder what year I first saw it. It was probably twenty fifteen, sixteen. Anyway, see ya. 
All right, we just watched Raggedy Ann and Andy, a musical adventure. I'm just a rag dolly. Do, 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 do. Um, so, um, this was your first time watching it. I saw it, like, 2015, 2016. Don't remember. Didn't remember that much. Remember a couple of things, um... Uh, do you want to give your thoughts? Give me your reviews. Uh, if I have to ten. put it into like the shortest possible like review, uh, mm-hmm. fever dream, fever dream. Yeah, that's that's so accurate. I would give it a maybe six and a half to seven out of ten. Yeah, I th- you know. I'm thinking it's hard to it hard is. to rate because in some ways it's a ten out of ten. Just in some ways it's really, really outrageously good. But yeah, but to like I'd say to, like a seven to watch and enjoy like a film, I would say it's a a six and a half to seven for me. I'd say seven. Explain good. yourself. Really like the animation. Thought everything was really wacky and. The, the the sheer like just absurdity of it gave me fucking what was it babe babe two pig in the city vibes yeah yeah they're, they're part of the same cinematic universe as two mm-hmm. um my first time seeing any raggedy ann related media other than the dolls yeah did you know um do you know the annabelle doll the creepy yeah is it based doll? on her well that was a raggedy ann doll in real what life, because you know that Annabelle is was a real doll. It's like yeah. based on a well that if you look up, um, because it's in a museum now the actual Annabelle yeah, yeah, doll, yeah. but it's a rag. It looks like Raggedy Ann. Yeah. Um, that was all I knew. Anything else you want to say about this film? Uh, I genuinely wasn't expecting the bit where it just like cut back to real life and they were just in the pond. Yeah, I genuinely thought that they were in the ocean. I was convinced, mm-hmm. and I yeah. was like, "How are they gonna like?" I-, I was looking at it, and there was like ten minutes left, and I was like, "How are they gonna be like?" All right, so the, the they're gonna defeat this big monster thing, and then how are they gonna get back in like the ten minutes? How are they gonna do yeah. this? They did yeah. it. They pulled it off. Yeah, they pulled it out of the back. Anything else? I should talk about. Uh, bit. yeah, you you give you. Yeah, I'd say a seven out of ten, realistically. Um, it's got lots of very cute stuff. Yeah, like more so near the beginning. Um, you know, I actually genuinely, really, really like some of the songs in this. Yeah, Rag Dolly, I genuinely actually like. Yeah. Um, the f- there's a the one at the beginning, and I look, and what do I see? Oh yeah, I really, we're just talking about I, the outside world. Yeah, I really, really like that one. That one is good. Um, I'm no girl's toy. Do you remember that one? Oh, the one that Andy sings. Yeah, and yeah. that the one the camel sings as well. Oh yeah, that one's quite weird. Yeah, and however, there are some stinky ones as well. Like, do you remember that Looney Night one? If you listen to that, like that one that the knight sings. What? I, I, I don't even remember well, him singing I could, a song. I could probably just play it right now. Yeah, um, it. it. was only short. Um, let me see. Share sound. Um, right, I think you'll be able to hear this. Um, hold on. Hold on a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Um. Okay, I guess it's be- called because I love you, because uh, I think you'll hear this. Welcome to Looney Land. <laughs> yeah, it's where yeah. all the practical jokes in the world come from. And guess what? We're going to try them all out on you. I remember this. I didn't remember that it went into a song. It, it sounds awful. <laughs> Why are you doing all this to us? It's easy! (laughs) 
listen to this. <laughs> it's like horror film <laughs> without like a video. <laughs> this is awful. It's awful. Oh, I do remember. Because I care. And yeah. the invention I bring to your attention is just to show how much I need you there. The fact that I go mm. I adore you It's awful crazy way I do <laughs> You may be all the tatters The laughter's all that matters And that's how I <sighs> <love> you <laughs> Yeah Oh, anyway, yeah, so that yeah. one is Particularly bad, yeah And like the The, the candy Thing the Oh yeah the candy monster song was I like the candy to... monster. Yeah. Well, his song didn't sound like a song. Yeah, and I also think that bit goes on for a bit too long. As it does, does uh, like the bit with the ship at the end, I actually found myself just a bit like, yeah, let's end this. Yeah. Um I wish I'd have seen this as a kid. I'm just <laughs> how would it have shaped your yeah. life? Yeah, probably not. What... Much what different. stuff would you make? Yeah, but I saw. Um, do you remember Charlton and the Wheelies? No, I'm gonna no. Google it. That's Charlton. sort of similar. Um, and the Wheelies. What the fuck is this? Oh yes, I remember you sharing with us. But yeah, this um, a horrifying nightmare. I do really, I do quite like this film a lot, and yeah. um. There was a time when I would just listen to some of the songs in it, like mm. I'd just go on it and listen to them because I liked them so much. Um, what's this? What's the flaw? What's the biggest flaw? Is that it's just a bit of a like, there's no real story. It's just random stuff. Yeah, happening. I, for a while I forgot that they were actually going to the pirate. Yeah, I did. I completely forgot. Um. The voices are just good to listen to for some reason. Like mm. the voices of Raggedy Ann and Andy. Yeah, they definitely have the best two voices. Yeah, and the camel is quite good. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Good. Charming. Very odd. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna ask my mum if she's seen it. Yeah. Because I know that my grandma used to talk about Raggedy Ann a lot. Really. And she, because my grandma is called Ann. All right. Um, so she she talks about it occasionally, and she goes, "Oh, Raggedy Ann, <laughs> looking like Raggedy Ann." Little does she know it's a bonkers little film. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's pretty much it then, isn't it? Yeah. We need to. I... Sorry, go ahead. No, what were you gonna say? I'm gonna take it off the thing. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I was gonna say. We need to add something else to it. Yeah, oh I was just I was thinking about something. Have you got any suggestions? Hmm. Let's think. I came up with one hmm. as we were watching it, but I can't remember. Was it live action? No idea. We could add Oliver and Company. Yeah, yeah, let's add that actually. Oh, oh, I remember what I was thinking of. Go on. It was Metropolis, the anime movie. Metropolis. Oh, I do remember you talking about that, actually. I, I feel like we should just have like at least one anime. Do you think I should add yeah, both okay. of them? Yeah, add them both. Okay. I, I actually think you will like Metropolis. Because mm. um, I think I've mentioned this before, but you know we, we've talked about the era of like Iron Giant and Treasure yeah. Planet and all that. Well, it 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 reminds me of that. Um. So. All right, that's it. And then you know, we could add Ratatouille or something. Ooh, do you want to? I do love Ratatouille. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch that because. Um, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, you've not seen it in ages. No, I've not seen it in years. Yeah. Um, anything else? Uh, we'll, we'll think about it. If you, ever, if you ever think of one, or just a film you've not seen that you want to watch. Yeah. What about John Wick? Because I've never seen that. I've never seen any of them either. Should we put John Wick on there? 
Yeah, we could do. There you go. John Wick. Might be worth to have one sort of action, conventional action film. Yeah. It's just I one can of smell those... someone like cooking like a really good pasta sauce. Really? That's what I assume it is anyway. Right. We should probably wrap this up. Yeah. Right. We'll next do this when we next do this. Yeah. You know, there is... um. Well, there's... um. I was thinking about um a Coen Brothers film called Hudsucker Proxy, which <laughs> isn't act. I think I think we'll have a laugh watching that film. Right. But that's, okay. I've got the DVD, but it's not. You can't actually watch it online. Oh. So, do you have a way of watching DVDs? Because I could bring it round. Yeah, I can. I can play them on my computer. Shall I bring it round when? Yeah. I, I think we'll do. We could do a review that I think you'd. That'd be fun to watch. Oh, anyway, yeah, I think you'd like it. Ryan, <laughs> yeah. also, what? when you come round, two films come out the day before you come round. Oh, right. What are they? Puss in Boots 2. Oh, I does guess. it? Yeah. Oh, Even though people got... have already been talking about it, which confuses me. I, I think it, it's out in America, isn't it? Oh, okay. And the Bren- Brennan Fraser film, The Whale. Oh, the Whale. Yeah, we might have to go watch both of them. Yeah, we'll I see. I went went to watch Airplane the other day. Yeah. And, oh yeah, uh, give you a little review. Very very good. Thought it was a really funny film. Yeah. Uh, it was surprisingly busy the theater when I when I when I queued up there was loads of people and I thought I was like what what is new that is out like what are people mm-hmm. coming here to watch and I was like I'm trying to think and then I went to Airplane and there was no one in the theater so. Mm-hmm. Clearly not that. Yeah. And I eventually figured out that um what's it called? Babylon came out uh, on the same day. Oh right. So people were going to watch that. I've heard it's really bad. <laughs> I've heard the same. Have you? <laughs> yeah. That makes me that makes me curious because how could it be so bad? But it's three hours long. Yeah. I, I yeah. don't know if I have like the attention span to th- to a, sit through yeah. a three hour long bad film. Yeah. Um yeah, the the one joke that I remember in Aeroplane is, do you remember the bit where that guy is like, uh, I can't remember if it's a guy or a girl, but like someone's like running after the aeroplane like it's a train and they're like, <laughs> yeah, <just> and they, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> like these massive towers. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Um, My favorite joke might have been. Um... It's literally just like um before they're coming in to do like the emergency landing. Fucking yeah. Leslie Nielsen comes in and he goes, I just want to wish you two good luck. We're all counting on you. And he closes the door yeah. and then nothing happens. And then they're like on their way down, they're like mid like whoa, it's all crazy. Yeah. Like the camera's all shaking and he comes in again and he goes just want to wish you two good luck. <laughs> all counting on you. And then he goes out again. And then after the plane's landed and like everyone's already departing, he comes in again and he goes, I just want to wish you two good luck. We're all counting on you. Uh, that's cool. Oh. Yeah, we should um, we should put the naked gun on this wheel as well. What is that? I've heard of that. It's it's with him in the game. It's it's a very similar film, Ethan. Ah, okay. It's like very similar to Airplane. Um. So if you liked Airplane, you will probably like. Naked yeah, Game. I probably will. Um. Oh yeah, I saw Megan. I saw it with. Oh, Elliot. did you? Yeah. Um. I really don't want to watch it. Here's my review of it: is it's good for what it is, but it's not right. my kind of film. Yeah. It just kind of made me like sad and like, right? Yeah. Like it's like this is society and this is our relationship with technology and you better wake up. There is a short film called like let let me find it actually. We got we got two, four minutes. There's a short film on YouTube called something. I'll find it now. Um, and I think it's the exact same pre premise of like child gets robot that's supposed to 
help them in some way. Mm -hmm. And then Robot eventually turns evil. I wonder if it's like based on that. You know how Pixel was Might based be. on nothing. But the, the robot is like... Oh, he's called Blinky. It came out fucking like a decade ago. Yeah, it could have inspired... I, I'd recommend watching that because when yeah. I was like 12 and I watched that, that mm -hmm. fucked me up. Did it? Yeah, that really like terrified me for years. Is it called Blinky? Yeah, it's just called Blinky, that's it. That's like what the little eye thing says in Jabba's Palace. Because aren't you a blinky? <laughs> aren't you a blinky? Aye. I'm looking at it now. That's on my poster as well. The original trilogy. Oh, is it? Yeah. Cool. And I've still not seen uh, Return of the Jedi. Have you so never no. seen it? Still not seen it. Even though that was the whole point that I wanted to watch Star Wars. Is it? Yeah, because I... I really like the Jabba the Hutt Lego Palace set. Yeah, yeah. Uh, still really want it, but you can't fucking get it for less than 300 quid or something. Have you never seen the really cringy scene with the dancing no. alien? No, I've never seen it, actually. I've just seen clips of it. Whoa. I've never seen it raw. Have you never seen the sexy Greedo? No. Do you want to see it? <laughs> Should I show you it? Yeah. I remember in the Lego set, there's like a little, he's like a little spidery type robot thing. Yeah. He's like a brain in a jar in like the spider suit. And I think that's what was like, that's cool. That just cemented it in my mm -hmm. head. Um, get, get, out of my, get out of the way. Whoa! Damn, I gotta see this. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait look. Whoa! Whew. Gonna make me act up. Oh my god. This is what George Lucas wanted all this time. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Looks horrific. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh.